How to get rid of centipedes. Centipedes are common arthropods that are known all over the world for their scary look and having so many legs. Even though they eat a lot of pests, they can get into our homes in large numbers. Some species even have poisons that can hurt people. Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, we'll suggest some ways of getting rid of centipedes. So let's get started. How to identify them. The first step in any plan to get rid of pests is to figure out what you're up against. If you're not careful, you could end up using the wrong treatment methods, which would cost you time and money. Many people around the world think centipedes look weird, and they're right. In the United States, centipedes are very different in size. They can grow to be anywhere from 1 to 6 inches long. Their bodies look like they have been flattened, and they can be yellow, brown, black, gray, or red. Centipedes have long antennae, and if you look closely, you can see that each body segment has only one pair of legs. Although their name suggests that they have 100 legs, the number of legs on a centipede can range from 30 to more than 300. A fun fact is that if a centipede loses a leg, it can quickly grow a new one. Some people might think that millipedes and centipedes are the same pests, since they both look like pests. It's important to tell them apart, because they are both types of arthropods, with different habitats, habits, and ways to treat them. Millipedes can get as long as 2 inches. The shape of their bodies are half cylindrical, and they are usually black or brown. They have two pairs of legs on each body segment. Their bodies are short and thin. There are only a few native species of centipede in the US, and they look like what you would expect. The bark centipede, the cryptid centipede, and the skull of banded centipede all look the same. These centipedes are rare invaders, and some areas have more of them than others. Also, these centipedes are poisonous and have been known to bite people if they are mistreated. But there is one type of centipede that is very common in homes all over the United States and the world, the house centipede. This appropriately named centipede only gets about an inch long, and its long legs and antennae make it look very strange compared to most centipedes. This is the most common type of centipede that people see. Even though it is not poisonous, it can still be a problem if it comes into a home often or in large numbers. The next step in a good plan to get rid of pests is to inspect what attracts them. What attracts centipedes indoors? Centipedes live in many different kinds of places, from deserts to damp forests. Like many other arthropods, centipedes like to live in places where they can hide, find food, and live in a good environment. Here are some things that attract centipedes. Number 1. Dark and damp places. Again, centipedes like places that are cool, dark, damp, close to food sources, and where they don't get bothered very often. Many types of centipedes like to live outside, but others, like how centipedes, can live both inside and outside. Number 2. Other insects and fishes. Centipedes are nocturnal predators. That means they actively look for their prey at night. Their favorite foods are dirt beetles, spiders, cockroaches, crickets, earthworms, bedbugs, silverfish, and different centipedes. Some centipedes, like the giant desert centipede, might even eat small mice. They don't eat decaying leaves and other plant matter like their close relatives, the millipedes. So, these pests often come into homes because there is a lot to eat there. Residents may find centipedes in cement block walls, boxes, floor drains, or places where there is a lot of clutter. Number 3. Cozy Places Centipedes may come into a heated home to breed because it is warm and safe. This is often the case when it's too cold for pests to live outside, or when it's so dry outside that they have to come inside. How to get rid of centipedes Take precautions to avoid health hazards. After you've found out what kind of pest you have and check to see if it's active on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before any treatment starts, wear your personal protective equipment or PPE at all times. And don't forget to keep people and animals away from the treated areas until they are dry. For outside, you may need to do some simple things to your lawn to help airflow and water evaporate. Rake and detach your lawn and cut down any tree branches that hang over it to make sure your lawn keeps the right amount of water. Number 2. Identify their entryways. Centipedes can get into your home through places like cracks and holes in the wall and around doors and windows. Write down or mark every site you find because this will help you decide where to focus your treatment. Number 3. Control the moisture and humidity level. You'll need to fix the places inside that had a lot of moisture that you found during your inspection. 
For example, you may need to fix leaks or lower humidity by using a dehumidifier or air conditioner. Number 4. Use proper insecticides. Once you've fixed the moisture problem on your property, you'll need to use products like Reclaim It and Defense Dust that are made to get rid of centipedes. You'll use these insecticides to treat centipedes indoors and outdoors, and then build a barrier to keep them out. Number 5. To reduce workload, use the proper tool. We also suggest using a 1-gallon hand pump sprayer because it is easy to use and can be used in many different ways. Open the sprayer when it's filled with a half gallon of water and add the amount of insecticides you've measured. Pour in the last half gallon, close the sprayer, and shake it to make sure it gets everywhere. First, apply it all over your lawn with a broadcast application. Number 6. Treat your garden and yards. Remember that when you treat centipedes, you are also killing other insects that they eat. Also, you want to treat brick and rock covered flower beds where centipedes are often found. Once you finish your application to broadcast, you should spray the entry points you found around the outside of your houses, such as doors, windows, vents, and other holes. Number 7. Treat inside your home. After you've dealt with the points of entry, treat the area around your building's perimeter. Start at one point and spray the outside of your building every 3 feet, 3 feet in and 3 feet out, all the way around. Be careful not to put this on top of the last treatment you did. When you're done outside, you can go inside your building and do the same thing. For the inside of your house, first, spray around plumbing or under appliances or in cracks and crevices. Then, spray along your baseboards to kill centipedes and other insects that might go there. Once the insecticide is sprayed all over the place, let it dry. Number 8. Use the second layer of insecticides for safety. After that, use a water-resistant insecticide like Defense Dust to treat small holes where you've seen centipedes or other insects. Then, use it everywhere you've already put the other insecticides. You can also apply it behind and under sinks and appliances where there is a lot of moisture. Number 9. Set traps for future safety. Lastly, you'll need to set up traps to watch for centipedes and other pests in the future. Products like Pro Glue boards are easy to set up and work well for trapping. Place these boards parallel to the wall near the entry points you've found, but keep them out of children and pets. If any pests get in, they will get stuck on the glue board. If a child or pet gets stuck on the glue board, you can use vegetable oil to get them off. Even after using pesticides, the best way to keep pests under control is to prevent them from coming back. Best way to stop centipede activity is to make sure it can't happen. The ideal living conditions for centipedes are surroundings that are wet and have a high humidity level. To get rid of these problem areas, you should fix any water leaks, keep basements dry by using dehumidifiers, and run exhaust fans in bathrooms and attics to help get rid of excess moisture. Keep your building and its surroundings dry and clean. Centipedes can easily become dehydrated, so they will avoid places that are too dry for them. Please tell us what you think about this video in the comments section below. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.